we've been talking about utility for a long time. Is there enough utility in, in terms of NFTs? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, that one of the reasons why I was so excited to come on this show is because obviously Edge of NFTs, you know, Edge of NFT, you guys have been on the ground, you know, since, uh, you know, the last couple of years, at least. I know we first uh, caught up with you guys at, at one of the first uh, NFT NYC events when, you know, the market was extremely frothy. Uh, anybody and their you know, grandmother uh, were trading <laughs> NFTs or looking to or launch an NFT project. So where NFTs are at now, I think is actually, a, you know, a natural cycle of, of when any new technology comes around, which NFTs, non-fungible tokens, at the heart of it, you know, it really excited me when, you know, when, when I realized the, you know, what smart contracts are capable of doing, what is an NFT and how that's going to affect multiple industries. Um, but when you have, when you have a lot of, a uh, hype around the potential. Some of those narratives get lost, especially when uh, the things that are driving, you know, this excitement is very much rooted in the promise of earning something and and making money. And so there was a lot of money being thrown around, speculative on, you know, on NFTs. And it looked for me, it looks very, it looked very similar to the NF to the to the I, uh, ICO. Uh, hype around 2017, 2018, when everybody was, you know, creating an ICO and 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 raising millions of dollars, raising millions of ETH for their for their projects, which were, you know, kind of on the backs of you know simple white papers, and and that was about it. So we've had a lot of NFT projects that also, you know, were didn't really have much meat on the bones, and often projects didn't really even understand what. Uh, what they could be doing with this technology. So I, I feel like now that the smoke has cleared a little bit, we've gone through this cycle uh, where a lot of these projects have have died off. People realize, of course, this was a bubble, but but I'm of the very strong belief that you know we will see another massive, probably in my opinion, even bigger than before wave of uh, excitement around NFTs. Whether the the mass public or people that are involved in the ecosystem continue to call it NFT because it now has such a, a tinged re reputation. Uh, for, for me, it's around, yes, the utility. It was very cliche and buzz, buzz term, right, uh, for a while. But I, I really do think that we're entering into a phase where those that have stuck around, those that have been passionate about the technology, those that do understand what NFTs can actually enable uh, represent and actually create more efficiencies and business models really around a, a lot of industries and disrupting a lot of industries. Casper now has been around for about five years and you've seen peaks, valleys, good, bad, and are constantly building to improve and make things even better for your ecosystem. Can you kind of walk us through like, what has that ecosystem maturity been like for, for Casper yeah. and what are some of the things you've been, been, been focusing on? Yeah, I mean the, the blockchain itself really um, mainnet didn't really go live until I believe just a little over two years ago. So in that short period of time, it's been a constant kind of upgrading of the protocol. Um, so I know that the Casper Labs team has a you know a, a very ambitious roadmap. Uh, we just went through a a protocol, one of the biggest protocol upgrades. Uh, since mainnet launch, uh, this was called the 1.5, actually 1.5.2 upgrade. And it really kind of is on par with some of the kind of industry standard, you know, expectations that developers would would look to in, in terms in a, in a blockchain to build on top of. But yeah, I mean, we, we are a relatively new chain compared to a, you know, Solana, Cardano, obviously Ethereum. However, our roots have come from uh, this, you know, kind of this Ethereum uh, ecosystem, right? Um, Casper is actually derived from a from a technical term that is, you know, that that, that came about uh, that Vitalik actually coined as as part of, uh, you know, uh, when, you know, as part of a, a, a Ethereum and as it was being built out. The views and opinions expressed on Edge of NFT reflect solely those views and opinions of the show hosts and its guests. Please make sure to do your own research. Our show is not financial advice. 
You understand that you are using any and all information available on or through this podcast at your own risk. Whenever making financial decisions, we recommend doing your own research and talking to your accountant for financial advice. From time to time, we may feature sponsored content on the show for which we receive value, and we may share links for which we receive a commission if you make a purchase through one of those links. Refer to our website, www.edgeofnft.com, for our full disclaimer, terms and conditions, and privacy policy.